Hey, gun people! Well, here we have a quota. Well, no, I can't say quota hard. I'm sure she got hard because she did the best in the academy. And then they gave her a dog because she was the best. Anyway, we have a police officer who releases her dog. Doesn't do a bad job, um, but we'll see how it turns out. Gets out of the car. Here we go. This is a domestic violence. This guy, DV. Most places, domestic violence, they make it a felony. Sometimes it's called a wobbler. They'll charge it as felony, but it can be pled to a misdemeanor. Um, so anyway, this is uh, this is what happens. <laughs> Ren Ten Ten does a great job. Okay, pretty sure Ren Ten Ten was not a quota hire. <laughs> what a good boy. <laughs> Notice his tail is wagging like, yeah, I got him. I got me one. I got mine. Where's yours? <laughs> good boy. And, I mean, obviously he doesn't bite the guy that good because you'll see what happens. Let me shoot off you, please. Please. Shoot off you. 24, Mac. I have the subject. Oh! Okay, so here's, here's part of my problem with this woman. Oh, okay. she's got one hand on the dog. And she's got one hand on her microphone talking. And I never see her gun out. And she's handling a guy that's running. Uh, it seems like maybe this is what they have to give certain handlers to be able to pull their dog off. She grabs a dog here, which we used to call this like a tracking harness. This doesn't hurt the dog. It's not like a choke chain. It doesn't cut the air supply off. It looks nicer. But it also allows the dog to pull a lot better and not interfere. So if he's tracking, we would hook a leash to this to this area and then let him track and smell because he runs out in front of you and you don't want to like cut his air off to where he's breathing. So, and this is also easier to pick him up, carry him. If you're repelling out of a, off a building or on a helicopter, they wear these little harnesses also and you clip the dog onto your D-ring and, and you repel with him. So that's what this harness is. So you don't hurt. So this dog wearing this to me is a little bit of a problem because it's easy for someone else to grab. I don't know if that's a little antenna on the cop or on the dog. Hell, maybe this is like the little dog on TV. This guy's his own little webcam. But anyway, she pulls him off. Gun not out. Chasing a guy, supposedly a fleeing felon. She dogs him. She doesn't know if he has weapons. No gun out. Oh! Oh! Red! Oh. <laughs> Dog's like, Mom, why are you sliding him off the cage? I'm hanging on to his foot. <laughs> so... She had to grab the choke chain with two hands to try to get him off. Again, not good training. I mean, if you can't give your dog a command, we used out in the military. Uh, you know, every other agency chain, different language, they use different commands. If your dog doesn't listen to the command of letting go, then you've got issues. And you would fail our certification. We, we would actually certify our dogs in the military, and their fine rate would have to maintain for a bomb dog at 98%. And for a drug dog at 95%. So if we drop below that percentage, the dog was uncertified, could not get warrants off a drug dog, and we would have to do more training until we raise his percentage up. Now, raising his percentage was pretty easy. We'd plant 10, 10, you know, training aids, and we would use real substance, marijuana, cocaine, heroin, whatever, and we would plant it, the dog would find him, and then we'd say 10 positive fines, and that would raise him up to his 95 or 90% accuracy. So this dog's not letting go when she tells it. So that's a problem right there. I know people are going to think I'm picking on her she's a woman. I don't care if she's a man or woman. She needs to train her damn dog better. Hey. Oh. Okay, so it takes two hands to get her off. He gets the dog off, and now she starts dealing with the guy. Right there. If you take off again, you're in your face. Oh so she immediately goes to her taser now with her dog. If you take off again, you're going to get tased again. Cops nowadays just love their bat belt. They love all their little bat toys on their bat belt, and they just want to pull it out and think they're freaking Batman. I mean, you got a dog. You've got him trapped. Tell him not to run again. you got a dog. I would have kept my hand on my real gun and not pulled out a damn taser. Now you got one hand with a dog and one hand with a taser, and this guy pulls out a gun, and now you're behind a power curve. Not to mention, the code of the bald could come into play here. Okay, so the guy says, 
screw you, you're on the roof, you can't catch me. I don't know what this guy's thinking. Obviously, a dog's going to catch him, but, I mean, this is good training for the dog. I'd be like, all right, cool. My dog gets more exercise, he gets to chew on you again. I got no problem with her releasing her dog. I got no problem with her getting her dog off. And I got no problem with her releasing her dog a second time. Oh, man, it looks like got him right on the inside thigh. That's going to hurt, and that's going to leave a mark. But that's all right. Like I said, I got no problem with what she's doing. I, I got a little bit of a problem. And again, this is my opinion, people. If you don't like it, go cry somewhere else. Don't come here. You don't know. I've, I've been, I, shut up, you freaking crybabies. Been doing this shit. I did this shit 30 freaking years. I know what the hell I'm talking about. From my experience, I'm giving you my opinion. If you don't want it, leave. Damn crybabies. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back to the dog with his chew toy. Okay, so she gets him off. Second time again. She tried to get her dog off in what I consider a reasonable time. I have no problem with how she did it and what she did. So I'm giving her props on one area and in other areas. I think she's got some issues. Man or woman, I would have the same freaking issues for the crybabies that want to come here. He's picking on women. Good boy, yeah. Okay. okay, so now she says good boy and she's praising him. Is that bad or good? I got no problem with that either. Someone else would be like, man, that's a human being and the cops are jackboot and he just chewed on him and she's telling him good boy, that's cruelty. Nah, I ain't got no problem with that. Good boy. I'd be giving my dog a hug too. Good boy. I got no problem with her praising him. Dog did a good job. She did a pretty good job. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Yeah, you <laughs> Dogs all happy. I love I love the sound of a dog a barking dog in the morning after he's got a snack, a little bit of clothes hanging out his mouth, flossing his teeth with a suspect's clothes. Rick, you're a big boot like shut up, you big crybabies. Alright, we'll end that there. <laughs>